Most men don't really like women outside of intercourse. Most men don't like women. Now, for those of you that are smart enough to stick around. Thank you. Drop a like and a comment on the video to let me know you made it this far. Please. It helps the algorithm. Here's the truth. If men liked women for real, for real, they would not bash women or they wouldn't call men panderers that add truth and provide facts and data and logic and statistics to support some of the same things that these women have been saying in these social media streets. See, most men don't like women because most men don't actually like themselves because their definition of manhood is muddled. Most of these men, most of the men that are dominating these social media microphones, right, that are saying, oh, women need to do this, women need to do that, blah, blah, blah. You are saying these things to women because it's easier to oppress the weaker vessel than it is to actually stand up and go against who the quote unquote true enemy is, which is YT supremacy. And this, what I'm saying, particularly obviously applies to black men, but let's be, let's keep it 100% above. If you really liked women, you would have women be on your, you would be on their side. Because look at the amount of progress women have been able to make with, while only being really free for 60 plus years. Women could get their own credit cards and all that stuff starting in 1975. The amount of progress women have made in a short time span is astounding. And many men don't like this fact because they think women's place is just in the house. I'm clean, screw me when I feel like it and have my babies. And women are saying, we are not going to be walking baby factories for you Negroes anymore. And listen, people, this is very simple to understand. It's very simple to understand. When women can be free and have their own choices, you now have to actually be a likable person. You've got to, I don't know what it is. You've got, to, you've got to be a likable person for women to want to deal with you. And what we are sowing, what we're seeing today is that the seed these men, these men have been sowing out here for the past 200 years is one of unlikable product. Don't know women want no man that has no personality and all he's got now is pockets because they got pockets that are deeper than most men nowadays. Ladies and gentlemen, this is 2024. All lies are being exposed. Cap must stop. The cap must stop. We are approaching that point in history where our women are going to outperform us in mass. They're already in the process of doing it, by the way, gentlemen. They're already in the process of doing it. All these women are saying is, bring me personality and pockets. You, we can't, most men can't even bring one or the other. Can't even bring one or the other, but then you want to bash them as they fought for not listening, as they fought for doing this. How is it a woman's fault for moving like she's free now? How is that her fault? Please explain that to me, because I swear, oh Lord, I don't understand it. You have to be likable, gentlemen, or you will get left. Judy. Another thing I feel like he needs to add that he did not add is that as you age, as you age, you start seeing around. And the media plays a role in your thinking capacity. You start thinking that the person's race automatically means that they are good. That because this person is a white man, it means that he has a good credit record. It means that he has money. It means that he can take care of me. If that was true, then why white women are saying the opposite? If that was honestly true. Would you say the same thing about the very same men 50 years ago? I'm very curious to understand because I see an increase of women saying, go where you're loved. Go where you're loved. Go out where I'm loved. Is it with a white man? I'm curious. Go where you're loved. It immediately, as you get out of this bracket, this niche of being black, it doesn't get any better in other communities. It's actually worse. I am very shocked most of the time when I see a black woman with a surrounding of just white people. Um, I'm very shocked. Like, I, I, I get nervous. I'm very nervous because how are you guys so trusting? And why are your friends only white? But anyways, I digress. Let's watch this video. Did you hear about how this perfect couple influencer revealed that she's the one paying the bills in the relationship? Let's not pretend that I'm not the one that paid the down deposit on our house. Let's not pretend that I'm not the one that paid for the Range Rover. Let's not pretend that I'm the one to pay for this whole fucking life that we live. Let's not pretend that. Let's not pretend. Well, this is Raina, and she's a super 
influencer with millions of followers across multiple platforms. She talks about her relationship and how proud she is that her husband came in and saved her after having two kids and then becoming a single mom. The interesting part is that she's taking care of this man and their entire family, and I don't see anything wrong with that. What's wrong is the fact that she's lying about it, trying to make him out to be some kind of savior when he's clearly not. And they had the audacity to post this video telling black men, you need to take care of your kids or we are going to step in and do it for you. to be the head of your family and take care of everything without having to lie about it oh Raina, i wish you would understand that your family is still perfect if you're the power behind it i wish more women would wake up ladies what do you think leave a comment to let me know i'm tierka with i um uh, yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's my point because how do you say he's a provider, he's a protector, and he takes care of the kids if you're the only source of income that he has to keep? Because without you, he won't have a lifestyle. Because it seems like you need him more than he needs you. You need to keep up an image. You need to keep up this image of perfection. And this is another thing that boils me, that how can a person from 50 years ago who has benefited immensely, especially people like that look like that, benefited immensely, has failed to make something out of himself in a system that literally caters to him as a black, as a white man, especially a white man. And all of a sudden, there's just this need, let's be, yo, uh -uh. it could be the blood thing, I don't know. But really, as a woman, as a modern woman, that's another agenda that's been pushed onto us that gets better I'd go look out where black men are lacking yeah you too are lacking in your community that's why you want us to chase you you want us the good ones the ones that are working they want to be with people that look like them really they're not they want to be involved in other communities it gets complex it gets very complex really they're not these people want to be involved in other th they don't want to be so, love wisely, guys. I'm looking at this and I'm like, love wisely. Love so wisely. Because imagine having to support a man. Only because, what I, what would people say about me? Imagine that. What a sad life. And get other black people out of your mouth. If you're in a happy interracial relationship... Let it be so. However, keep other black people out your mouth. Thank you. Goodbye.